I'm going to add a shed dormer to my garage, similar to the one that's shown here. On your project browser, go to level 2, select the roof, and here select this icon and select hide element, select architecture, select wall, select this wall here, the exterior vertical boards, select the rectangle tool and uh, we're going to draw a rectangle starting here at this reference plane down to the other side of the garage selecting this reference plane select modify twice select this wall and hit the delete key to delete it select the dimension tool hover over this wall and select tab and and select the interior wall select the mid plane reference plane and hover over this wall and hit tab until you can select this interior wall and then right mouse left mouse button an empty area to end that command select this EQ symbol Uh, still using the dim uh, align dimension command, select, hover over the wall and tab until you can select the interior of the wall. Select the mid plane reference plane. S select, place the dimension. Hit modify twice. Select this wall, and that'll let you edit this dimension. Type in 12 feet. Enter. And you notice that uh, this dimension changed to 12 feet, but so did this one because they're equal. Select the dimension, align dimension command. Select the east reference plane. Zoom in and tab so you could select the exterior line here. Select Modify twice. Select this wall, and that'll let you edit this dimension. Type in 1 foot, 10 inches. In your project browser, select the Dormer Roof Floor Plan. Select Architecture. Select Roof. Uh, in your properties, select the garage 8 inch roof. The base level should be dormer roof as we set it here. If this is not zero, set it to zero, zero feet. Set pick lines. Set your offset to one foot. Pick this exterior wall just uh, above this exterior wall. Pick just below this exterior wall. And pick just to the right of this reference plane. Turn on Define Slope. Zoom in and pick just to the right of the exterior wall here. Select the Trim Extend tool and trim your corners. In your Properties menu, scroll down and set the angle to 15 degrees. And select the green check. Uh, answer no. We will attach the walls to the roof, but in a later step. Select 3D. Select architecture. Select the dormer roof. 
Select this icon here, Join Unjoin Roof. Select the leading edge of the dormer roof and select the edge of the garage roof. And the roofs should join together. Hover over the dormer walls and select Tab until all three walls are highlighted blue and select them. Hold down the Control key and select the dormer roof. Also select the garage roof. Uh, come down here to the temporary height isolate and isolate element and select anywhere to release that and you'll notice if you orbit around we have the, th the three items selected. Select modify twice, go to architecture and select this item, uh, this, this icon dormer point to the garage roof select the interior wall the edge the interior wall do the same here on that interior wall and on this interior wall in your view cube select the top view Select uh, Pick Tools again to make the, acti the tool active again. And hover over this leading edge of the uh, dormer roof. And we want to select the inside line, not the exterior one out here, but the interior one. So justify a little bit to the, to the right and pick it. Uh, choose the uh, Trim Extent tool and trim off the corners. and select the green check. And now if you orbit around and look underneath, you'll see that there's a hole in the roof. And that operation cut a hole in the roof. Select Modify twice. Hover over one of the dormer walls and select Tab until all the walls are highlighted blue and then select them. Select Attach Top to Base and select the dormer roof. Select attach top to base again, but this time turn on this base button and point to the garage roof. And there's your completed dormer roof. Select the temporary hide isolate icon and select Reset to turn on the rest of your garage. 